It is so important to talk to Jesus. He is the only one who will listen to you with those things that no one else will listen to you about without rolling their eyes. You know, I mean, do you have, I'm not the only one that people roll their eyes at it. He is the only one that you can go to and will be captivated about your bad hair day. That is who our Jesus is. And you need to know it's that personal. And the king forgave the debt because he could not pay. That was something he could not pay. I want to interject something here. If you were raped, that rapist cannot pay you back. Even if he had the most brutal death on the face of the earth. He can't pay you back. If you've been abused, your abuser cannot pay you back. Does not have the ability to pay you back the shame and the hurt they have caused you. That's impossible. If a spouse or someone's betrayed you, they do not have the ability to pay you back what it feels like to be betrayed. They don't have that ability. No human can pay you back. And that is why closure in courtrooms does not work. People go to courtrooms to feel this closure and they, they want to see um, horrific crimes that were committed against them and their families and, and the justice done. And they walk away typically feeling very dissatisfied because closure can't happen in that terms. Humans cannot pay you back. No revenge on any level can pay you back. Only Jesus, only Jesus can pay you back. I need you to understand whom it is we're dealing with. We're dealing with Jesus. He is the creator of the universe. He is the king of kings. He is the sovereign, holy God. That is our Jesus. Jesus is the word that became flesh. He is omniscient or all-knowing. He is omnipresent or everywhere. He is omnipotent or having infinite power. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and he is the last. And he is who is, who was, and it who is to come. That is our Jesus. That's who we're dealing with.